Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griffin? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hoggers. Yeah, boys! Yeah, boys! Yeah, the movie's called Get <laughs> Ponies pulling up. Champions of the day. All right, it's the dozen match three of season four of the Dozen Trivia League, uh, and. This is a little earlier than usual if you're watching it live. Right after this, go to barstool.tv. I think a couple people on this right now will be on the call or involved in some form, some fashion, some form. Uh, the Barstool Sports Invitational, unbelievable lineup from Chicago, kick off the college basketball season. Final four participant, Florida. It was a buzzer beater for making the title game. Florida Atlantic, local team oil of Chicago, Arizona State, you get a Hurley. Brandon Walker of Mississippi State squad, who won last year, Big Cat in their match and their in their game. Excuse me. Yes, it's uh, gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Tune in. It's gonna be a great time. Two games, uh, like Jeff said, Loyola versus FAU, Mississippi State versus Arizona State. Uh, we're gonna have it all. We're gonna be announcing it. Roan will be there, so it's gonna be a great time, just like we put on last year. And uh, I think we have some pre tape stuff that's great. The 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 one that I heard, I heard Rico did an anger management video with Bobby Hurley. And then White Sox Dave did a, a like walking ninety four feet with uh, Sister Jean. He pushed her wheelchair, and he said afterwards, um, her little foot and he went like this, kept on getting <laughs> stuck under the wheelchair. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be great. Like, why? Well, that's the best teaser you can get. Um, yeah, if you watch the dozen on Monday night, ZD versus Minahan, uh, you know that it was a disaster. Um, Kirk played by himself for the entire second half of the match and almost beat ZD. Rico was on that trip to Arizona, and that's why he got kicked off in the middle of the match. Quig's no longer a part of uh, Team Minahan. All right, it never ends for the uh, defending champions, Team Minahan. Uh, they had an opening with Quig's leaving and being kicked off the team, and now after signing Megan making money away from the Corn Dogs as their fourth member. Uh, Amidst drama, chaos, misunderstandings, miscommunication, Kirk has booted her off the team. She's back with the Gorn Dogs, Francis, Caleb, and TJ. And now Team Minahan has signed Hank. Hank did not make the league on the Misfits. They did not get voted in. So he is a free agent, and he is now going to join Rico and Kirk on Team Minahan. Uh, yesterday, you saw Boost Ponies, Frank Getz, unbelievable matchup. But now, season two champions of the dozen, Uptown Balls, uh, Tommy, Glennie, Smitty taking on uh, two-time back-to-back Final Four participant, uh, Big Cat, Roan, Che. I'll, st- I'll start with Smitty. Give me, a, give me some diplomatic thoughts, classic head coach thoughts going into uh, the season. Hey, look, it was a hangover season last year for the champs. We're back. The ball's ready to go. Uh, that's as good as always. Uh, Roan, you're not with Che anymore. Actually, a bit of a separation. You're, you guys are in different cities. Same chemistry, though, and, and you got your guy Che just – He's he's unbeatable. No, we've been we've been doing we've been doing a, a, a group chat where we watch Jeopardy uh, like three or four times a week just to get on the same page trivia wise, just running layup lines, uh, weaves, three man weaves, and everything, just trying to get uh, on the same page and really ramping it up, even though we're remote now. Uh, looking to make three straight Final Fours, maybe you crack into a title. <laughs> Uptown balls got bounced in the first round. What, Jeff? I mean, we're we're like the Colts. You don't have to do that. Hey, Final four me, participants. You, okay, hold on. You did tell me. I, I will note this. The Bad Raise Boys the banner. Trivia, shirt, shirt on sale now. Stored up our New Yak Bad Boy shirt. You were the number one most voted team into this season. We did have a fan vote to determine the first 12 teams. You were on 98% of the ballots. I, up to I ball, appreci- run like 95. So. I appreciate that from everyone. We enjoy doing it. We enjoy playing as a team. Um, but, yeah. That's just the biggest loser. Like the, it's the biggest backhanded compliment ever. Back to back Final Four participants. That really made me feel good. Actually, um, I'm, I'm dead. I'm, I've been told I'm wrong. It, it was season one and three, so not even. Oh, back-to-back. okay. So yeah, we're not even. But either way, hang the banners. Back to you know, two out of three. With the team Minahan news, we're now the only intact championship roster. That's very true. Well, the yeah. only team still together. Yeah. If you count. 
two Final Fours, if you add it up, is kind of almost a championship. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, on this year's dozen tournament shirts, can we get uh, the stitching for fan vote champs? Sure. Yeah. You know what? Whatever. Yeah. Um, you know what, Jeff? Do you fan vote yep. champs? Do Final Four participants? Do Season 2 participants? Let's just... You know, good job, good we'll, effort. We'll just, have it, just, just have a patch saying good job, good effort, and that will kind of <laughs> cover it all. Um, Body Armor sponsoring uh, the niche category round tonight, round 10. Nav, New Amsterdam Vodka sponsoring the double sip lifeline and the bonus round, which we are doing the new new version of the bonus round tonight. It's a fun one. Uh, 24 questions, 12 rounds of trivia, 25th being the bonus round. Uh, you get three lifelines. Double any category you want except for round 10. Already worth two. Uh, and then you have call a friend. You can call anyone you want. Um, and then uh, you have your uh, double sip, uh, which can be used on a question to answer it two times. You can't pair a call friend or double sip with anything worth two points already. Here we go. Uptown Balls, you're up first. I don't know the rankings, but I think Yak will be probably ranked ahead of you, so this is kind of a crapshoot. So Uptown Balls, you're up first. Uh, up second will be the Yak. First category is the NBA. Do you want a double NBA? No, sir. No. Do we want to? No. Too early, right? Too okay. early. Not going to double it. Here we go. Uptown Balls, you're up first. Glennie, Tommy, Smitty, season two champs. Here you go. Where is it? Why oh, can't I see it? Oh, here it is. What guard has had this career path from 2011 to present? Oklahoma City, Detroit, LA Clippers, Denver. All right, so he was on the championship team as a guard last year. Hold on. I, I, keep, fr- I keep freezing. What, who did we say? All right, who was on the championships of the guard last year? It's, it's not Murray, right? No. Uh, could be – who started with – so the Thunder, that team went to the championship in 2012. I mean, Bruce Brown – no, Bruce Brown was – no, on the on the Nets. Uh, Five. Should we use a call here? Because they're going to get it. Three. Who? Two. One. Jamal Murray. Final answer. Other side. Steven. Jeff, I'm not, I'm not wearing my glasses tonight, but this guy wears specs. That's Reggie Jackson. Oh, my God. Reggie Jackson, Did final answer. Would have never the bell. <laughs> Tommy, Glennie, yeah, and Smitty, I just want to say like that what he does does not speak for me and Ron. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it did. You said final answer. No, I know, but I didn't say the glasses part. I just said Reggie Jackson. With everything else, that's not us. Well, big man, I said this career path from 2013 to present. Boston, Miami, Houston, Detroit, Utah. Mm. Is it Olenek? Yeah, he did play yes. for the Celtics uh, in the Heat. It is. The clinic. Yeah, I like that answer. Kelly Olenek, final answer. Two to nothing, yak. Here we go, Rome. Oh, celebrity mashup. And you want to double that? Balls, how you feel? I haven't been that good at it playing daily. Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll hold off for a special. Team. Yeah, let's All hold right. off. Okay, here we go. Off town balls. Off town balls to make it two to one. And the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. That's. Um, I think I know it. Who's, I who, the who's the outside? Is the inside Vito Morganson? Oh, that's crazy, right? The inside is. Uh, I don't want to say the name, but I know who the inside is. Is that Seacrest on the outside? I don't think that. Seacrest doesn't have those. No, ears. that's not. Does he? Is it Glenn Howerton? I don't think it's either. Is it Glenn right? Howerton? Howerton doesn't have the hair. Is that like Nicholas Shea or some outside. shit? He loves throwing Nicholas Shea in here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's let's go Nicholas Shea, Nicholas Shea, Alexander Skarsgård. Nicholas Shea, Alexander Skarsgård. Final answer. Other side, 20 seconds. I think it's Alexander Skarsgård and DJ James Kennedy from Bravo. I don't know. I, I don't know why I think that, but I think that that's who it is. The, Jay, you got anything? The outfit, the outfit says Seacrest to me, but five. I, I no, 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 no. All right, so Alexander Skarsgård and DJ, what's his name? James, James Kennedy? Kennedy from uh, yeah, yeah, JJ James Kennedy. Bravo. <laughs> That would have been nah. great. No, nah, we didn't go Vanderpump. That is Alexander Skarsgård and Orlando Bloom. Alexander Whoa, Skarsgård and Orlando Bloom. Oh, he what? dropped Bloom on us. Make it. Never, never would have gotten that in a million years. No. Yeah. I don't even know who Alexander that- Skarsgård is. 
Succession. Wait, like, is that the same James? Oh, Succession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Bro, is that that's the same James Kennedy? Jamie Kennedy? No, no. This that, that, no. That, that, no. looks like a mashup. Okay. That picture of Bloom looks like a mashup. That you like should do, popcorn. Jeff. Yeah. We should do uh, like for the people who suck at this. Myself being the main culprit. Like, if you had just shown me Orlando Bloom, I wouldn't have gotten. That. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> Name this celebrity. This is for the act to make it three nothing very early, though. Two celebrities. I know the inside. I do not know the outside. Uh, 20 seconds. I don't know the name of the inside guy, but I know everything he's been in. Oh, that doesn't help us. I think I know his, uh, uh, I think I know his name. Five is outside Fuck. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe okay. three and and Cillian Murphy. Russell yeah. Crowe, Cillian, Cillian Murphy. Murphy. Final answer. Cillian, Cillian Murphy. Murphy. Cillian, Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy and Russell Crowe. Final answer. I think Other it's side. Cillian Murphy and Gerard Butler. I was gonna say it's definitely Murphy. Butler. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Murphy. Do you see a little Patrick Dempsey? I think it's Gerard boss? Butler. I think it's okay. Gerard Butler. I like I like Gerard, Gerard Butler. Butler more than Dempsey. I think Patrick Dempsey. Okay, uh, Gerard Butler and Cillian Murphy, final answer. All right. That's that correct. Cillian Murphy, Gerard Butler. I'll tell well, balls. First point of the yep. year. Gerard Who Butler's another one that me. you could have been like, name that celebrity. I would have been like Russell Crowe. Love me some name, baseball. Name this guy. Here name we go. Guy. Major League Baseball. Do you want to double? Should we? We always double baseball. All right. Should we? Right, what else are we going to yeah, do? Yeah, I mean, we got nothing else know. to double. I, I, my, I yeah. gotta dust my brain. <laughs> we always double baseball. We always Allegedly. double baseball. They do. It says it on the bar. It says it on the card game. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Twelve and three last year in baseball. This is for uptown balls to gain a three to two lead. Yak has not used their double yet. This is for uptown balls. World Series legend and former NL MVP Kirk Gibson was the manager of what National League team from 2010 uh, through 2014? I think it was the Diamondbacks, actually. No, or Diamondbacks. Right. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was too. I, yeah, let's just think about it. Obviously, um, I mean, oh, would he give us? Would he give us a team in the World Series? That's, as the that's answer? what I was thinking, but I'm pretty sure it was the Diamondbacks. Yeah. That immediately. I'm pretty sure it. too. Well, go go yeah. go through the role decks. NL East, no, for sure. No, uh, Central. Not Dodgers. I mean, he wasn't like not a Pirates Rockies, manager. Not Padres. Yeah. Not Giants. Not Brewers. Not Cubs. Five. Right? Yeah. Go Diamondbacks. Yeah. Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. Final answer. Diamondbacks. Three to two. Jeff, you dog. That was a great process, guys. Well, they went through everything. They and the, uh, their their seating was hurt by some blown losses last year. So they're going okay, I mean, we'll, we'll lose we go. this championship hangover in some fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Other side to make it three to three. Former World Series MVP and MLB Hall of Famer Paul Molitor was the manager of what American League team from 2015 through 2018? <laughs> Is there any chance it's the Rangers? No. Okay. May, no. Big Cat, I think Fuck. we're gonna lean. We're gonna have to lean on you on this one because I. No, uh, but I don't know it. Is it the Twins? I'm just thinking of did Paul that's Walter where play he for played. The twins? Yeah, that's why you think that, and that's why I think that. Need something Fuck. in ten seconds. Let's just guess something. We have like Wait, a, a. Do you want to call someone? Clemmer? Four. Clemmer? Clemmer? Three. Clemmer? Two. Clemmer? One. Call Clemmer. Blue Jays. I think Fuck. it's Other the side. Twins. I like that. No? I thought the Twins, too. I, I oh, God twins. damn it. I, I mean, I know he definitely played on it. <laughs> twins. Final answer. Four Fuck. to two. God damn. I thought the Twins, but I was like, it can't damn. be that obvious. Damn. I kind of had the same damn. thought process, but I, I couldn't think of who else it could have been. I thought it was the yeah. Rangers. He, he got, got us good. Back. He got us good. That's bullshit. We got good. We, that's just good questioning, Jeff. Good job. Good trip. Here we go. Music. And you want to double music, Yak? Yes or no? Nah. No. No. Okay. Here we go. This is for Uptown Balls to make it five to two very early. What is the title of this song nominated for Record of the Year at the 2016 Grammys? 2016 Grammys title. She told me don't worry no more. We don't hear it four times. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Oh, yeah. I, love, it's, I can't feel my face. Can't feel my face. Can't feel my face. Can't feel my face. Can't. 
because of cocaine, correct? Yes, the weekend. Gotcha. So I can't. No, 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 no. Can't feel my face. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't think it's not. No eye. Can't. Can't feel my face when I'm with you. No, 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 no. not what I'm. <laughs> can't feel my face. Four words. Can't this feel my face. <laughs> Can't Who can? feel my face. Can't feel my face. Can't feel my face. Finally. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Almost bungled that one. Wow. Oh, boys. <laughs> he, gave, he gave 15 words in the song. All right. Make it five to three. Similar. 2011 Grammys, though. Title. Don't know my own strength. Just gonna stand there and watch me. Is it love? Love, love the, the way, way you, you lie. lie. Love the way yeah. you lie. Final. Love the way you lie. Love the way you lie. Final answer. That is correct. Five to Good three. Job, boys. Jack still has their double. College hoops next category. Barfield.tv right after this to watch the Barfield invitation. No doubles. Here we go. For Uptown Balls, you're up first. This team made seven NCAA tournaments in the 2010s, winning one title and losing games to Syracuse, Michigan State, and Florida. All right, let's think of the title winners. We got uh, Duke. We got UConn. Uh, they won. Not four. Villanova. They won. We, what? We got Kentucky. No, Villanova won one or two. Villanova won two. We got like Kentucky. Louisville. Could be Louisville. Uh, it was 2013. <laughs> Um, Didn't Louisville lose to Syracuse? UConn won 2014. Duke won 2015. UNC, or no, Villanova won 2016. UNC won 2017. Virginia won, or no, Virginia won 2020. Or no, Virginia won 2019. Four. Could be Virginia. So, so in three seconds. Two. Virginia. Louisville. One. Virgi- Virginia, final answer. All right, Tommy. Wow. Good job, Tommy. Wait, nice. they said Virginia, Man. right? Yeah. 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 And that's correct? That's yeah, why we got ding. That's the – Ball balls, the balls tried to slip into Louisville. Oh, good, good call, Smith. Good no, no. call, and he said, Yeah. Here we go. Other side to make it six to four. This team made nine NCAA tournaments in the 2010s, winning one title, and losing games to West Virginia, UConn, and UNC. Is this Duke? Did Duke ever lose to West Virginia? I don't know. Uh, the ca- uh, answer is I don't know. Can not Kansas, right? No. Um, the answer is I don't know. Has Duke only won once in the 2010s? I think that's what Tommy said. I think they won 2010 and 2015. No, who won 2010? Need um, something in five of all the teams that popped up that he said duke stood out to me but i don't know go with it go with two one duke duke no no i think it's kentucky i, I think it's kentucky oh well, that was what i was gonna uh, say god okay. damn it kentucky. i'm pretty sure it's kentucky kentucky final kentucky final answer uptown ball seven points now four point lead I'm in. Well done. fucking gone against it plenty of time movies to blow. It's plenty of time Fuck. Yeah, can he double? Shut up, movies? Tommy! Don't do that. Reverse Her- jinx bullshit. No, that's not a reverse jinx when it happens every time we play. You're cutting out. I Here can't even go. hear you. <laughs> Up down ball. <laughs> <laughs> movies set in 1981. Janine Garofalo plays a summer camp and director with an ense- ensemble cast including Michael Showalter in this 2011 Is comedy. This wet hot American yeah, summer. Wet hot American summer, right? Wet yeah. hot I'm American not sure. Summer. Yeah, what hot American summer? Final answer. Eight nice. to three to make it eight to four going into the bonus round. Alan Covert tests video games, falls for Linda Cardellini's character, and fends off a trench coat wearing coworker in this 2006 comedy. I don't know any of those people. Oh fuck! Why why can't I think of this? Uh, 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 grandma's bo- uh, grandma's boy, grandma's boy. Final. Okay, grandma's boy. Final. Eight to four going into the bonus <laughs> round. Here you go, Roan. I'm sorry, guys. That was and the act does have all their lifelines and their double. Worth noting. Here we go. No, wait, Brand wait. new bonus did they, round. For... Did they not just double? No. No. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. we doubled that. Want us to... Yeah, we doubled that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Time to make the donuts. 
brand new round. bonus round. We took some fan feedback. Fans said they wanted this to go a little quicker, so we made some tweaks. It will be the team with the most points after three rounds wins the bonus round, wins the two points. Here's how it'll work. You will know the categories of each list of 10 items beforehand. Captains, you'll select who will go for each list. It's much like the regular bonus round uh, where you name things on a list, except instead of three on three, it's one V one teams. You will have your players go one V one against your opponent, guessing items, alternating back and forth. If you get something right, you get a point. Only 10 things on the list. If you get it wrong, you get a strike. Each team has three strikes per list once you strike out your turn is over if your opponent still has some strikes left they can keep ripping them somebody could score 10 points they can get all 10 in one list and then after three the team with the most through those three lists wins the bonus round wins two points makes a lot more sense once you see it if you're confused hopefully this is the one that people like the most here's how it works you're going to know the three categories ahead of time Big Cat and Smitty will decide who goes for each one. NFL, college football, geography. Those are going to be the three lists. It's Che, it's che versus Tommy. Tommy goes first, okay. then Che okay. back and forth with the regular bonus okay. round. Here's the question. Name the last 10 NFL teams to have uh, a leader in most interceptions thrown. <laughs> last 10 teams to have – I don't need the player. I just need the team. Most interceptions thrown in the season. Timer begins now. Tommy, you're going to be guessing first. Three strikes each. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Damn it. <laughs> that is correct. Most picks. Indianapolis Colts. Five. One strike for the yak. New York Giants. Eli Manning, I think. No? One strike for balls. Denver Broncos. One each. Dallas Cowboys, maybe. I think Dak. Five. Dallas Cowboys. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. San Francisco 49ers. Two strikes for the yak. Um, maybe Josh Allen with the Bills. I'll go Buffalo Bills. Two strikes for balls. New York. Come Jets. on, Stephen. Is that your guess? New York Jets. Chase strikes out. Balls. Uh, Tommy can rip as many as he wants here until he strikes out one more time. Um, right, two to one. Five, four, the Minnesota three. Vikings. Only two to one on that board. Two to one lead for Uptown Balls. Cleveland, Denver, Jacksonville, Rams, Chargers, Pittsburgh, Philly, Houston, Dallas. A sneaky one. College oh, wait, football. We don't like. So do it's we just two to one, so it keeps that, going, so it never one. has to. It doesn't end. Oh, oh, you exactly play all got three got rounds. Two to one. Here we go. Big Cat's got the rules. Big Cat, you're up against. Glenny. Balls. Here we go. Name the last 10 teams ranked number one in the initial college football playoff and BCS polls. The first one released in each season. Here we go, Glenny. You're up first. Two to one lead right now for balls. Um, Clemson. Georgia. Uh, Bama. That's a good guess with Bama. Fuck. That's a good guess. Ohio State. Five. <laughs> Five. Four. LSU. Florida State. Ah. Good guess. Good guess. Good guess. First strike for the Yak. Um, Michigan. First strike for balls. Five, mm. four, three, two. Florida. Five. Three for the yak. Um, ooh, I just had one in my brain. Fuck me. Oklahoma. Get get it out of there. Four for balls. Uh, let's go USC. 
Oh. Two strikes to the act. Shocker. Uh, Florida's on there. I maybe say Texas. That your guess? Yeah. That's Fuck. on there. Balls. balls. Two strikes to the act. One for balls. Five. Four. Three. Oregon. Two. Yak strikes out. Fuck. There's there's two left. Um, Five, four, three. Washington. Ten seconds for one more guest. You have one more strike. Five. Michigan State. Four. Two large employees are yelling somewhere. Tennessee and Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Huh. Yep. That's the Big Southerners are. are oh yeah, fuck! I read the whole thing wrong. God damn it! I'm so stupid. I was reading it as preseason. Oh, I thought it was preseason too. God uh, damn it! Playoff BCS, yes. You know. Fuck. I was reading oh, it as preseason, Glenny. I, I, I never would have guessed USC because they weren't even. They yeah, haven't been the good in the last <laughs> ten years. That was like the number one team going into the playoffs. Yes, yes, and Dak Prescott. Fuck. That's Despite a bad that. question. That's a bad question, Jeff. I'm going to say it right now. That's a <laughs> bad question. If two people, if both sides read it, Glennie and I are very smart guys. That was a bad question. <laughs> Smitty versus Roan, little Philly battle. In the 10 largest U.S. states by total water area. Total water area. So what does that mean? Go. What does that mean? Is that yeah, lakes in within the state or like <laughs> yep. lakes bordering yep. the state? We just dealt with it yesterday because we dealt with one of the states and water borders. That includes lakes and any of their borders that include water. Okay. What? Did Jeff, ask a I mean, question it, directly it, here. It, okay, okay. This stoop might be a stupid question, but does that like include going out to like international water? Does yeah, ask about Hawaii. Like, ask about Hawaii, Smitty. That's what we yeah, want to know. Like, Think, I think this will make sense when you do it. I'm going to make you say Hawaii, Ron. I'm, I'm going Michigan. <laughs> Is that your first guess? First guess, Michigan. California. Say it. California. Powered. One to one. Florida. Alaska. Damn. Alaska. Coward! <laughs> you say it then. I don't know. Fucking call him coward. I mean, it has it, don't, don't nine to six. Nine to six. Five. Four. <laughs> <laughs> it's one strike for ball. That's crazy. <laughs> he goes, How it's too it small. And then he gets it. Five. Minnesota. Four. Five. Nine to seven, four, uh, three, Washington. Two strikes for balls. Texas. Nine to eight. <laughs> Georgia. What? Jo- Georgia. Three strikes for balls. Rowan, you have no strikes. You could rip the rest of the list if you got it. Uh, Virginia. Virginia. One strike for Roan. Washington State. Five. He already guessed that. Oh. Oh. Uh, what about New York State? We're not enough nine apiece. You can keep going. Um, what about Maine? Incorrect. Okay. The rest were Louisiana, North Carolina, and then one more Great Lake State. Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Yeah. What about Utah? That, that whole Salt Lake shit. So now what do we do, Jeff? <laughs> tied up nine apiece. We're tied up nine apiece. And there's one more. Most terse with the most after this next one wins the two points. Damn it. Music. Who do you want to have go? Rome. Smitty, who do you want to have me. go? Rone's up. I, I mean, this is a this is a ball. I'll do it. Yeah. Balls yeah, like versus Rone. Yeah. Here we go. Person with this the is most great after trivia. This, this wins- turned into bad bad trivia turned into great <laughs> trivia. Um, here we go. Here we go. This this round's gone through 10 iterations. We've been playing for a month. Here it is. Balls, you're up first. Name 10 artists with the most number one singles in the 2010s. The 10th person on this list, we broke the tie. This, this could also, it's person, group, duo, whatever. It could be anybody. Uh, we broke the tie based on how many weeks their songs were on uh, 
the, the Billboard Top 100. So here we go. That's why we broke the tie because there was a tie at the end. Uh, ten artists, groups, duos, bands. Balls, you're up. So Drake. Ten to nine. Taylor Swift. Ten to ten. Beyonce. First strike for balls. And this is just the twenty ten. Does this yep. does this ends in twenty twenty? Twenty ten through twenty nineteen. Through twenty nineteen. Um, Kanye West. Um, five. Four. Three. Kendrick Lamar. Two strikes for balls. Funny. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Didn't expect you to guess it. <laughs> Two strikes for the yak. No Sheeran? Five. Four. Three. Two. Foo Fighters. Rowan, you can win it here. <laughs> Five. Four. Three. BTS. Sudden death, balls, your guess. <laughs> Who's number one? Um, one Direction. Roan for the win. <laughs> five. Maroon five. Four. That is on the list. The Yak takes it. Is Rihanna on there? Oh, Rihanna was number one. Rihanna was oh, number one. The weekend. The weekend. The minute he said oh, Beyonce, I was like, say Rihanna, Roan. That was tough. Bruno Mars, Post Malone, Adele, Taylor Swift, Bruno Mars, Katy Perry, Justin Bieber. Oh, Beyonce really threw me for a loop. Yeah, she is on. Um, off to well, Rihanna. She kind of Lack of Beyonce. <laughs> that was some. That was some never on bad the trivia by us guys. That, was bad. that is a funny note from <laughs> from Tommy. Thing. She is. She's not on any lists ever for these. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy. We had a two to one in the first round. We had Mean Balls not reading the question in the second round. We had Hawaii Gate in the third, and then just a quadruple <laughs> overtime. Not electric sudden death, though. Right. Good picking, Ruin. That New York was a good call. There's got to be. Um, like, I hope there's one new dozen fan who's watching this. Like, this is the first match they tune into. Like, is this just like world's dumbest people? <laughs> I had 10 chances go. to College win that. Football. It was ter- that was embarrassing. <laughs> College football. Do you want to double, Yak? No. Should we save for NFL, save, Steven? Save it. Do we want to double this, guys? We're pretty good on college football overall. If we double, we did not miss once no. last season. 13-0 and 0 last season in college NFL. football. Okay. All right. I want the pressure to be on you, not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being totally honest. I have not gotten one question right this whole time. I suck. I, I don't feel That's good. The leader. You're a, yeah. a leader. Here we go. Football round. It's knowing when to pass. Sometimes you don't got to shoot. Sometimes you got to pass. To make it nine to six. This Stanford QB enjoyed three and a half seasons as the starter from 2012 through 2015 before being drafted by the Chiefs in round five in 2016. This is for balls. Uptown balls, not just Glenny. Fuck. So this is after Andrew Luck. So, so who is who, yeah, who is after Luck? Oh, uh, it was uh, like a tall white guy, which I know doesn't narrow it down at all, but <laughs> he was like such a zero. He was like such a like, this guy's obviously never going to be good. Uh, like uh, Bryce, something Bryce, Love. Bryce Love was the right Can we call back. somebody? We can call somebody. You can. You yeah, got to make the decision, though, in. Call Brandon Fine. or would Mincy? Three. Jack Mack, but he never has two. How, what's oh, 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 oh. Smitty, we'll you're phone, calling. We'll phone a We're going to phone a friend. All right, you have 10 seconds. Jack Mack, I think, he's here at the stream. I don't know if he's here. Oh, oh, yeah. Go get Jack Mack. Can yeah. I go see if Jack Mack's here? We got him. Yes, we got him. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So here we go. 35 so seconds. All right. I'm pretty sure this is Ben Hogan. I, I like it. Let's do Ben Hogan. Here we go, Ben Hogan. You good, Jack? Ben Hogan? Ben, ben Hogan, final answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven. I think it's Kevin Hogan. Yes. Kevin Hogan, final answer. That's the most uptown balls thing I've ever <laughs> seen. Oh, That's unbelievable. Let's go, Steven. <laughs> that was the Ben Hogan. The golfer, right? Famous golfer. Yeah, that's, that's right. One of the most famous golfers ever, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, that, 
that that is how we lose games. <laughs> that a is consistent look, basis. It, that's not reverse jinx. That's just balls has a moment sometimes. This Oklahoma QB enjoyed four seasons as a starter from 2009 through 2012 before Landry being drafted Jones. by the Steelers. Easy. Final, Final answer. Let's go. Eight to eight. Eight to there eight. Here we go. We're not Let's enough. Go, big cat. See? The advantage of their double. Should have doubled. Should have doubled. <laughs> We yeah, for, you've not you've not like missed college football since legitimate. season two. You're 14 and 0 now since season two. Here we go. Other side, uh, television. This is for uh, this is for Uptown Balls. Debuting on Fox in 2015, what Academy Award nominated actor had the lead role as hip hop mogul Lucius Lyon uh, on Empire? This is Terrence, Terrence Howard, Howard right? Terrence yeah. Howard. Terrence yeah, Howard. Yeah, Terrence Howard. Howard. Nine to eight to make it nine to nine. This is the yeah. To the Empire TV. Debuting on ABC in 2016, what Emmy-winning actor had the lead role as President Tom Kirkman in the series Designated Survivor? Um, I know it. Um, uh, uh, it's like a K name. Um, he's the guy that he played Jack Bauer. Oh, Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Kiefer Final Sutherland. Final answer. Nine to nine. Here we go. NFL, do you want to – awful show, by the way. Just terrible. Do you want to watch it? Or do you want to double <laughs> we NFL? Double. Yeah, excuse me. Okay, here we go. For two points. But Uptown Balls, you're up first to make it 10-9. to 9. Following his stint with the Chiefs, Jeremy Macklin played his final season with what AFC team in 2017? Um, all right, not – the Bills, Jets, Dolphins, Patriots. Don't think it was Steelers, like, is, Ravens. Is the Ravens? Uh, maybe, actually. Let me keep thinking. Browns, was, Bengals. To bring them back. Texans, Titans. No, Jaguars. Jaguars? For some reason, Jaguars is pointing out to me. We we uh, do have our double dip still. We forget four. we always have that shit. Three. Yeah, we're gonna double dip on this. Double sip presented by double New Amsterdam Vodka. First guess. All right, and then let's think the rest of the West. Could Smitty, first guess. For, uh, Jaguars. Jaguars. Yeah, Jacksonville Jaguars. Ten seconds. All right, do we go Ravens then? I don't know uh, who else. Think the West. Not Chargers. Uh, I don't think it was Broncos. Broncos. I mean Raiders always four. get random people. Smitty three. Uh, Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. That is correct. Ten to nine. Double sip used properly. Yak though for the lead. I barely remember that. Damn. Following his stint with the 49ers, Anquan Bolden played his final season with NFC team in 2016. Mm. It, let's do what they did. Not Washington, not Dallas, not Philadelphia, not the Giants. He didn't go back to the Cardinals, did he? He could have. That would be some Jeff's. 20 seconds. Um, Just fucked us already. What anything? Anyone in the Central? He didn't play in Detroit. He didn't play on the the Vikings. He didn't play on the Packers. He didn't play the Bears. No the Bears. Uh, he, he didn't play on the Saints. Are in? Did he play in the South? Five. No. Uh, four. He probably went back. Three. You want to guess? You know it. Two. Do you know it, Stephen? No. Car- Cardinals. One. Cardinals. Other five. side to make it I, twelve nine. The Saints kind of popped into my head. What about this, but, the Seahawks? Maybe. I don't feel like he played with West. Wilson. He definitely didn't play in the East, I don't think. Unless he went to the Commanders yeah. and everyone just forgot about it. I kind of – I don't know why – Well, going through those teams, the Saints popped out, but that's – Five. Really no, Nothing's guess, popping so. out for me. Balls, anything? Three. No, I got Saints. Okay, we'll go Saints. Saints, final answer. It was the Detroit Lions. It was oh, the Detroit oh, Lions. Man, I forgot 12 that. 12 to 9. He was not good nine. at the end. I have no recollection. I none. Yeah. In, like, in each category yeah. round, friends for Uptown Balls. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry, the most used face in Celebrity <laughs> Mashup. I'm sure that's who cares about that. Um, here we go, friends. This is a lot of pressure. I haven't watched Friends in a long time. Jersey yeah, numbers balls. on the other side. Jersey numbers. Mm. Oh, that's here we go. This is balls. for Glenny. <laughs> Season five at Howard and the Handyman's Going Away Party. Phoebe lists off flaws about Ross, including the fact he's currently wearing what? There for two is. points and a three-point lead. Dude, I haven't watched this since I haven't watched Friends in so long. So why is it your uh, niche category? Because <laughs> no. Matthew Perry died. They, they literally did it in honor of Matthew Perry. <laughs> That's this is dishonoring him. You know that this is less honorable. Oh I know exactly. I know is it something? Hey, is let it the a sweater or a hat? 
I wish you said like you hadn't watched it's, Friends. It's, it's, like a, it's a shirt with like his own party cool. with a, with a, a party hat. Uh, a shirt party. with your own face on it or something? One. Yeah, yeah probably your own face on it. Show your own face on it. Other side. Party hat? Should we I've say never party watched hat? an episode of Let's go with party I've never hat. watched an episode of Friends. Party hat? Yeah. Party hat. Final answer. <laughs> two name tags. Two name tags. He's wearing two name tags. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Yak for the lead. For the lead. I'm sorry, gang. Three players. Three players. You got to tell me their numbers. I can. I will say the player names too. Okay. Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis, Eric Weddle, and Avery Bradley on the the teams that they're on: Patriots, Chargers, Celtics. No other teams count here. Go ahead, Stephen. Start with Avery Bradley. Start with Avery Bradley. Was he single digits? Was he double digits? Double Avery digits, Bradley. right? Uh, no, I, I want to. Uh... Who's the who's the middle guy? Sorry, Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle. Weddle. So okay. he was only so, he only ever. Go ahead. All right. So, so I so I know two and three. Number one, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. Ten seconds. Are they all the same number? They're no, all no, the same, no. Stephen. No. Oh no. Oh. All right. Five. Uh, oh. Four. Fuck. Three. Go, Stephen. Ben, Jar- ben, Jar- ben Jarvis Green Ellis, forty-three. Weddle, thirty-two. Avery Bradley, zero. Other side. All right, so let's take this 32 and zero. Yes. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. I, no, no, Eric Weddle was 32, I think. I also thought Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, maybe he was 21. 21. That, I think he was I think, Five. I also feel like, oh, he might have been 33. Three. 21, 31, and he's still. No, no, 21, 32, and zero. 21, 21 32, 32, zero. Final answer. Che, you're off by one. It's 42. God. 42. I knew he had a fucking weird... Che, that's a fucking... Why did we do this as our niche? That's fucking impossible. He didn't miss that ever. He had not missed that ever. I'm, yeah, but I'm usually it's the same that. number. He did that in the in the 1v1. He was pretty good. That I mean, he's, that was crazy. He missed by a fucking digit. Yeah, I fucking missed that. Right, brand hey, logo. This is a painful trivia game, boys. <laughs> ba- brand logos. Yeah, so wrong. Brand logos. Two, Name the two brand logos here. One is, yeah, two logos. one is just a letter. Yeah, we have two. One brand logo is just a letter. Another is part of the logo. This is for Uptown Balls. And I know the right. Oh, I know the right too. Well, the left starts with an H. I'll guess. Is it not oh. HP. Is it HP? Looks like a technology company, yeah. kind of. Uh. It- is it HP? It's not HP. Then, it, might, it, might, it might be HP. The new H. I don't think HP that would have black. the black. You don't think that would have the P in it? Four, three. That is don't a P a little bit. Two. All right. HP, fine, Guinness. Try that and Guinness. HP and what's the harp? Guinness. 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 HP and Guinness. I think it's Hilton and Guinness. It might be Hilton. Hear me out. Is this Hydra Pool? Is that a brand? It looks like a Whirlpool. Fuck. It might be Hilton. It's probably Hilton. Hilton and Guinness. But, but that Hydra does look pool. like a Whirlpool. That does look like a Whirlpool. I don't know what that is, but you could, I mean, Hilton. I don't even know if that's the brand, so go with Hilton. It's, you don't even know. You just made that up? Go with, go with Hilton. <laughs> Hydra pool? Go with Hilton. Hilton and Guinness. Tied up 10 to 10. That's correct. Uh, Hydra pool's not a real Hydra thing? <laughs> Why would you say it's not a real pool. thing? I, I, thought it, I thought it plausibly could be. You said a not real thing. Uh, I I was yeah, trying my best. Here we go. To take this the is lead, what we yeah. deal with on Team Yak. Uh, that is... Oh, Virgin and Paramount. God. Virgin and Paramount. Virgin and Paramount. Yeah. Yeah, Virgin and Paramount. Final answer. I, I guess we should have yeah. known Hilton. We should have just known it. Yeah, Hilton was... I mean, I thought I, it was Hewlett yeah, yeah. Packard, too. I thought it was Hydropool, but we're good. Yeah, well, we... Here we go. 11, <laughs> 10, Jack, Yak, you have you should, Jeff, more more like free ideas here. Just do a Che trivia where you just show him things. And he has to make up company <laughs> names. Hydra pool. Okay, here we go. Here we it's go. It's not a real company. Uh, Uptown Balls. Here we go. Okay, Hydra pool is a company. It's a hot tub retailer in northern Canada. We looked. Okay, it so right. not <laughs> never. That's like Stu, remember when Stu Finer gets the fucking. Uh, local uh, Sterling Optical, yeah, Sterling, Sterling Optical, optical. <laughs> <laughs> not just Canada. Um, here we go, Uptown Ball. Canada. Yeah, to tie it up. 
What is the largest city by population in the United States that begins with the letter G that resides east of the Mississippi? All right. Um, Gainesville, maybe, or I'm just thinking of things that Greensboro, South Carolina. Gary, Indiana. Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville. Um, nowhere in New York. I don't think anywhere northeast Greenwich, of New Connecticut? York. Greenwich, Connecticut? Is that something? Yeah, that's a place. Uh, I feel like it wouldn't have as much as the others, what we've said. Um, Gain- what about Gainesville? Yeah, I threw that out there. I don't know, maybe, though. How I think it's, um, that's hard. Is that just like Five. super college though? Greenville. Four. I think three. Greenville, Greenville South Carolina, Two. you think? Yeah. One. All right. Greenville. No answer. Yak for the win. Is it Greensboro? My initial thought was Greensboro. I think they have an airport. Let's but do Greensboro. Greenwich, it could be Greenwich, which is population, not necessarily size. I'm not sure. The Let's only other ones I thought of is Gary and Grand Rapids. But, yeah. You want to go, go Greensboro? I think so. Sure. All right. Greensboro. Yak, 1-0 and to open the year. That is correct. Fuck. Boys. Fuck. Tommy Fuck. said Greensboro, too. And then it... Yeah, the state doesn't matter. Uh, last one, just for the sake of points. What is the largest city by population in the United States that begins with the letter F that resides East Mississippi? I'm forcing you to use your double sip because it's sponsored by New Amsterdam Vodka. Fayetteville. Frankfurt. First, a- a- first guess is Frankfurt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, airports. Yes, yeah, second guess is Fayetteville. Uptown balls for points. Say, may, maybe Flint, Michigan. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Flint. I think Gary's Indiana's pretty desolate too. Is by the way yeah, from that last true. question. Uh, Five. Fargo? Four. I don't think that's Flint. three. Eat. Two. <laughs> Two oh, Fargo, East. East. Wait. <laughs> Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, Dude. Indiana. All right. Holy shit. Um, wow. Bad trip, Apologies, man. gang. That's on me. I'd like to apologize to Tommy. Um, I thought he was trying to jinx us when he said that we'll no. find a way to lose... <laughs> Ben Hogan. That was incredible. Ben Hogan. I, I didn't see that Hawaii, one coming. Hawaii, Hawaii and Ben Hogan. You could, there's not many teams that you could make a list of the specific answers that lose matches. Uptown Balls, it's every match. Yeah, every uh, match you can that pick was on out. Me. I'm sorry, gang. Nah, Uptown Balls, balls come on. Nah, Uptown right. Balls, I believe the stat is, I think they, they've played a dozen. I'll, we'll put it up on screen. It's like they've played 30 times. I think... All, it's like 90% of their losses are by two points or less. It's an unbelievable stat. They're always in games, and this always happens. But they won once. Uh, wow. Ooh, the Rangers are in overtime right now. Holy shit, what a long match. Um, yeah, you're 1-0. Yeah, yeah that, and um, I, I uh, Steven and Roan are great. I, I think I've gotten significantly dumber. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think also the problem is the Daily Dozen is too easy. So uh, you got it's significantly my easier the show. I yeah, you I got th- my confidence like- <laughs> up where I've been playing it, and I just do the top row, and I go three for three every day. <laughs> yeah. I don't even fuck with the other six, and so uh, I came in being like, dude, I'm fucking killing it right now in trivia. So yeah, that and getting dumber has not helped me. But Ronan and Che are they're studs. We we um, we missed our our the niche category and our double. So yeah, uh, that is pretty and good. NFL. Well, that was our that's, 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 <laughs> yeah, that was our double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, wow. It doesn't matter what happens. We'll just find a way to lose. <laughs> that ben, was on, I lost the game. I, I'm, I'm my apologies. Yeah, they, you both missed the game. Ben, ben, ben Hogan goes over them. It's unbelievable. If, it's we, only... if we had said Greensboro, they would have somehow thought of Fort Wayne, Indiana at the last second, or they yeah. would have won. Or, if, right. time. or, or if Glennie really says, uh, like, Rihanna instead of the Foo Fighters, I think you you guys also would have, <laughs> would have won. That as well. Um, wow, I can't believe also fun. Glennie and I did an entire – Bonus round where we just didn't know the question. <laughs> well, you got to like, <laughs> you did good. It was yeah, like, but I mean, it was like, it, yeah, it, I just didn't read the question. <laughs> I mean, so did um, Ronan Smitty. I yeah. still don't know what that question. I, I still don't either, Tommy. <laughs> there. 
We're, we're, we, we made a statement in the last match. We're done. Water questions. We just, just might not be right for this game. It's hard um, to comprehend. If you're watching this as it airs live, turn this off. Go over to barstool.tv. Two great college basketball matchups. Oh, it's probably a fucking halftime with how long. Yeah, I've done an anthem well, I mean, six I'm gonna, hours I'm ago. I'm going to time it. I'm going to time it up to air perfect, like perfectly with the game. So this will start in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to start at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> on November 7th. The intermission, during the intermission, watch the yak, and then the yeah. second half will lead yeah. up to basketball. <laughs> I just want people, the uh, final thing, and don't edit this out, Jeff. People are going to watch this. Jeff will have edited it perfectly. It was the longest match in dozen history. We've been do- at the computer <laughs> for two hours. You don't- actually, like, yeah, that may be correct. <laughs> we did. We dealt with some tech issues, for sure. Stella, like everything. Oh. Unbelievable. One more match this it's week. Bit- Brandon Walker makes his return to the dozen. Brandon, PFT friend, taking on the Honkers, Chris Clemmer, Gia, and Robbie Fox. Thank you, as always. Flip over to Barstool.tv if you're watching this live as it happens. Thank you to New Amsterdam Vodka and Body Armor. That is it. Bye.